Every single morning, billions of people across the world reach for one small object in their bathroom, a tube of toothpaste. It's such a routine part of our lives that we rarely stop to think about it. You squeeze it onto your toothbrush, you brush, you rinse, and you go on with your day. But have you ever wondered what's actually inside that too? How do hard minerals like rocks and sand transform into a soft, mint-flavored paste? And what about those mysterious stripes? How do they magically appear in every single squeeze without ever blending together? Today, we're taking you inside the Colgate factory to explore one of the most fascinating and carefully engineered processes in the modern world. From raw minerals to gleaming factory floors, from powerful mixers to high-speed packaging machines, we'll uncover the secret world behind one of the most successful consumer products of all time, toothpaste. Before we dive into the machines, mixers, and chemistry, let's rewind and talk about Colgate's incredible story. The history of Colgate begins over 200 years ago in 1806. William Colgate, an English immigrant living in New York, opened a small business that manufactured soap and candles. At that time, oral hygiene was a very different world. People used powders, natural herbs, or even crushed shells to clean their teeth. Toothpaste, as we know it, simply didn't exist. By the mid-19th century, Colgate expanded its product line to include personal care products, including early versions of toothpaste. But here's the fascinating part. Before 1873, toothpaste wasn't even sold in tubes. It was sold in jars, which wasn't exactly convenient or sanitary. Imagine dipping your brush, or worse, your finger, into a communal jar of paste every day. Then came a game-changing innovation. Colgate launched the first commercially available toothpaste in a collapsible tube in 1873. Suddenly, oral care became much more accessible, portable, and hygienic. This innovation would set the stage for Colgate to become a household name in oral hygiene across the globe. Throughout the 20th century, Colgate continued to invest heavily in scientific research. In the 1950s, they launched fluoride toothpaste, a revolutionary step in the fight against cavities. Fluoride toothpaste didn't just clean teeth, it actively protected them, reducing dental decay in entire populations. This one advancement alone made Colgate a global leader in oral care. Fast forward to today, Colgate products are available in more than 150 countries, used by millions of people every day. The company has grown into a symbol of health, hygiene, and trust. But behind that trust is an incredibly sophisticated manufacturing process, one that blends chemistry, engineering, and cutting-edge technology to create the perfect tube of toothpaste. So, what actually goes into toothpaste? At its core, toothpaste is made of four key types of ingredients. The first are abrasives. These are fine particles, often made from silica, calcium carbonate, or baking soda. Their job is to gently scrub away plaque and stains from the surface of teeth. Without abrasives, toothpaste would just be flavored gel. It wouldn't clean effectively. The second ingredient is fluoride, the star of modern toothpaste. Fluoride helps strengthen tooth enamel and makes it more resistant to cavities. It's considered one of the most important advancements in public health in the 20th century. The third group are binders and humectants. These keep the paste moist and smooth. Without them, your toothpaste would dry out into a crumbly powder. Common examples include glycerin and sorbitol. The fourth group are flavoring and coloring agents. Let's be honest, brushing would be a lot less pleasant without mint flavor. Essential oils and synthetic flavors make toothpaste refreshing. And those colorful stripes? They're mostly aesthetic, but they also make brushing feel more fun. Finally, there are foaming agents like sodium lauryl sulfate that create the foam you see when brushing. While foam doesn't technically clean teeth, it helps spread the paste evenly around the mouth. In total, each batch of toothpaste contains more than a dozen different substances, each carefully measured, tested, and combined. Now let's step inside the Colgate factory in London, where over one million tubes of toothpaste are produced every single day. The process begins when trucks arrive 
delivering sacks and barrels of raw ingredients. Some come in giant quantities, tons of abrasive powders like silica or calcium carbonate. Others arrive in smaller amounts, such as flavoring oils, preservatives, and active chemicals like fluoride. Inside the factory, precision is everything. Each ingredient must be weighed and measured with extreme accuracy. If even a small imbalance occurs, the texture, taste, or effectiveness of the toothpaste could be ruined. The ingredients are then moved to massive mixers. Industrial machines capable of blending up to five tons of materials in just five minutes. Imagine a giant kitchen mixer, but scaled up hundreds of times. These mixers don't just stir, they crush, grind, and blend the ingredients into a perfectly uniform base. Inside these tanks, huge steel blades called agitators spin at up to 2,500 revolutions per minute, fast enough to create enormous shearing forces that break down clumps and ensure everything is evenly mixed. To put that into perspective, that's the same rotational speed as a car engine running at highway speeds. At this point, the mixture still looks more like a heavy dough than a paste. To transform it, the factory adds solvents like water and humectants like glycerin. These soften the mixture, giving it the smooth, squeezable texture we're all familiar with. The mixture is then heated inside massive aluminum vats. Heating is crucial because it helps dissolve certain ingredients and prevents unwanted chemical reactions that might otherwise make the toothpaste separate or harden. Each batch is carefully monitored, and when the pot is opened, the inside looks surprisingly like a bowl of frosting. Workers use giant spatulas to scrape down any residue and make sure no part of the mixture goes to waste. One single vat can produce enough toothpaste to fill around 30,000 tubes. That's an astonishing scale. Imagine one giant batch brushing the teeth of an entire city. Now comes one of the most iconic features of toothpaste, the stripes. For decades, people have wondered how toothpaste stripes are made. Do factories put separate tubes inside the main tube? Do the colors somehow paint themselves? The answer is simpler, but also more ingenious. Inside the filling machines, multiple dispensers inject different colored pastes into the tube simultaneously. They don't mix together because of viscosity, the resistance of the paste to flow. It's like squeezing three different colored icings into one bag. They stay side by side without blending. So when you press your toothbrush against the tube at home, the paste comes out with perfectly defined stripes every time. It's a little engineering trick that has become a big marketing advantage. Studies show that people, especially children, are more likely to use striped toothpaste compared to plain white varieties. Mint is by far the most popular flavor in the world but toothpaste flavors can be surprisingly diverse. In some countries, you'll find herbal varieties, lemon-flavored toothpaste, or even cinnamon blends. Colgate's flavor labs experiment constantly, mixing essential oils in different proportions to create new tastes. Every batch of toothpaste undergoes rigorous testing before it's approved for packaging. Technicians measure viscosity to make sure the paste flows smoothly but doesn't run. They test color uniformity to ensure the stripes stay intact. They even do taste tests to confirm the flavor matches Colgate's global standards. One small variation in texture could cause toothpaste to leak, harden, or fail to dispense correctly. That's why quality control is one of the most critical steps in the process. Once approved, the toothpaste is transferred to the filling machines. These are some of the fastest and most precise machines in the entire factory. They can fill up to 100 tubes per minute, injecting exactly 70 grams of paste into each one. After filling, the tubes are sealed shut at one and using heat and pressure. Then they're rotated to face the correct direction before labeling. Finally, they're grouped into boxes of 24 tubes each. Each box is automatically weighed, and if even one tube is missing, the box is rejected and pulled from the line. From here, the finished boxes are sealed, palletized, and loaded onto trucks. They're shipped to distribution centers, then to supermarkets, pharmacies, and small shops across more than 150 countries worldwide. Beyond the shiny machines and fascinating chemistry, toothpaste represents something much bigger, global health. 
Brushing twice a day with fluoride toothpaste is one of the simplest and most effective ways to prevent cavities, gum disease, and tooth loss. In fact, dentists often say that toothpaste is one of the most cost-effective public health products in history. Something so small, so inexpensive, and so routine has saved millions of people from painful dental problems and expensive treatments. So the next time you grab that tube of toothpaste in your bathroom, take a second to appreciate the incredible journey it took from raw minerals and giant mixers to high-speed filling machines and quality control apps. That little strip of minty paste is the result of centuries of innovation, chemistry, and engineering, all designed to keep your teeth strong and your smile bright. If you found this behind the scenes look fascinating, give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the bell icon turned on. We've got more amazing journeys coming up from inside the world's most incredible factories. You won't want to miss them.